Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. Um, this is going to be an energy check-in for the collective for the second half of your April from the 16th to the 30th. Um, so we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for the second half of your month. And then we'll take a look at what the possible outcome and events are. So this could be in anything. This could be in love, uh, romance, relationships, friendships, family, um, career, finances, personal development, spiritual development. And so we'll just see what the cards have to say. Um, before we get started, um, I wanted to let you guys know that I am announcing another giveaway. Uh, I am getting closer to hitting the 3,000 subscriber mark, so I would like to uh, choose two winners for a one-hour personal reading with me. Um, so the way you enter it is by uh, hitting the subscription button and the notification bell, giving, a vi uh, giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a, uh, leaving a comment in the comments section below with the hashtag 3K. Uh, and then once I reach uh, 3,000, I will look through all my comments and choose two winners. And I will post the winners up on the uh, community thread on my YouTube page. So uh, just make sure you have your notifications on for that so you don't um, miss uh, when I uh, choose the winners. So I'll just reach out to you guys. Um, yeah, just leave your uh, contact info and we'll um, set up the personal reading. So I am doing this at increments of every... Uh, 1,000 subscribers. So once I get close to hitting 4,000, I will I will announce that that next giveaway. So uh, yeah, so thank you for uh, all your guys's um, support for my channel. I really appreciate it. All right, so let's get started. Overall energies for the collective. What is surrounding the collective? What does the collective need to know? What can the collective expect for the second half of their April from the 16th to the 30th? What does the collective need to know? What can the collective ex expect? Two of Swords, we have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Queen of Pentacles, the Hangman, Pisces energy, and then the Devil, Capricorn energy. We have the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. There's this energy of not knowing what to do, I feel. Because you have the twos here, you know, it's about making decisions. I, I feel like I feel like someone's getting tired of that. I don't know if someone's trying to release some toxic energy or someone's trying to reevaluate their toxic behavior here, but I feel like someone is on the verge of releasing it. Um Temperance, Sagittarius energy. What's going on with this Two of Swords? You have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. What's going on with this Page of Swords? And then you have the Two of Pentacles. I don't know if someone's trying to decide whether to communicate with someone or not. Tell me about this Page of Queen of Pentacles. 
looking at the King of Pentacles. So we have a pair on the board here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. What's going on with the Hangman? The Three of Pentacles. What's going on with this Devil here? And the Strength card. We have the Three of Swords. Maybe there was a third party involved here. And then we have another three, three of wands, and then the two of cups, and then we have the three of pentacles here. It seems like someone's having trouble. Sort of. Someone's having trouble, like, taming their bad behavior here. It's like someone can't help themselves. It seems like there are two people here uh, and I feel like one person, I don't know if there's, I mean, uh, so in terms of who is behaving poorly, I'm not quite sure. It could be either this queen or this king. And I feel like someone wants to reach out to someone. Maybe reach out to a third party to let someone know what's going on here. It's like... It's like someone doesn't know what to do. Um, It's like this energy of if I reach out to someone, it could be really, really bad or really, really good. Let's see. We'll get some more messages just to see what's going on. We have the two of wands being clarified by <clears throat> temperance, the two of swords being clarified by the hierophant. We have the Age of Swords being clarified by the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles being clarified by the King of Pentacles. And then we have the Hangman being clarified by the Three of Pentacles and the Devil being clarified by the Strength card. Alright, so let's just see what is going on with your person here, Collective. Seems like there's someone else here. Tell me about the person that Collective is dealing with. What are their current overall energies towards the Collective? What are their true feelings and intentions towards the Collective? For the second half of April, from the 16th to 30th, what does the Collective need to know? Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy, the Emperor, Aries energy, and then the Knight of Pentacles. So we have the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. There is a third party situation going on here. Someone else is sick of this too. You have a queen of cups here. You have a queen of pentacles. And then you have a one, one king or emperor. And I'm feeling like this queen doesn't want to give to this anymore. This queen of cups here, but it just seems as though
It just seems as though someone is pretty aware of what's going on. Perhaps this queen is aware that there's another person involved or that this king is committed elsewhere. And perhaps this queen is aware that someone, you know, is using this queen as a side piece or just using two queens here. Um, I'm just feeling like this queen is not seeing this as it's not going to be victorious because there's like no forward movement in this connection here. Because then you have the Six of Swords after that. All right, let's go on with this Ten of Wands. Let's go on with All right, let's go on with this Ten of Wands here. Ten of Wands and the Fool. Someone wants a new beginning here. Someone does not emotionally want to invest in this anymore. Um. Let's see, tell me about the Queen of Cups. You have the Queen of Cups over the Queen of Cups. All right, tell me about the Six of Pentacles and then the Devil again. Mm. You could be dealing with someone that breadcrumbs here. I do feel like someone here also wants to reach out to let someone know that, hey, um, like, you know, I'm with this person or like, I, uh, you know, I don't know if you know this, but some sort of, yeah, something like that. Tell me about the high priestess. You have the six of cups. I think someone knows here, this queen of cups knows that this, this king is with a, 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 another queen here. I mean, I, I feel like this queen knows that this 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 king here or this emperor has a family. Uh, tell me about this emperor. You know, the three of wands. Uh, yeah, tell me about this uh, knight of pentacles. It seems like, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of threes here. So there's definitely a third part, like definitely someone else involved. You have the two swords here too, again. You know, I feel like in this, in this spread here, I feel like someone has to make a decision, but here I feel like someone is making a decision to possibly move on from this. Yeah, it's like someone here is in this energy of, you know, I'm not going to be someone's doormat, you know? Um... It just seems like someone's just sick of this. Someone doesn't want to emotionally invest. Someone wants to move on from this and have a new beginning. You have the Fool clarifying the Ten of Wands. Queen of Cups here two times. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles being clarified by the Devil. The High Priestess being clarified by the Six of Cups. And then we have the Emperor being clarified by the uh, Three of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles being clarified by the Three of Pentacles here. Yeah, it just seems as though someone here is... <sighs> well, whoever's trying, whoever is wanting to perhaps communicate to this other queen, I feel like this other queen knows and this queen is going to sort of step out of the way here. Um... Because it seems as though it's, uh, this king or slash emperor is married to this queen of pentacles. And I feel like this queen of pentacles knows what's going on also. And I just feel like someone just can't control their toxic behavior. Um, seems as though someone here might be breadcrumbing two people here. And like someone here, you know, is aware that, you know, this masculine energy is for someone. 
And I feel like this King of Pentacles might want to communicate, but is undecided, you know? I mean, sometimes in those situations, like, you know, sometimes when you're caught in those situations, like, you want to reach out to the other person to help that person. But a lot of times, those people, they're not going to listen. And the best thing to do is just let them sort of figure it out on their own and learn the lesson on their own. Yeah. So whatever this masculine energy has done to this Queen of Pentacles, you know, if this Queen of Cups were to stick around, you know, this King, this masculine energy will do it to someone else. Yeah. It, it, um, it just seems like it, it might be a pattern with someone here. Um, so... What is the outcome and advice here for the collective regarding this situation for uh, April, uh, second half of April from the um, 16th to the 30th? Sagittarius Pisces energy here. Right. We have Wheel of Fortune, Four of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor again. You have the Queen of Pentacles again, and then the King of Pentacles again. Oh, yeah. Six of Cups here. You know, this Queen of Cups could be an X here, too. That is a possibility, but we have a true pair here, a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles. You know, I don't know, I feel like this mask on the energy wants to dip out dip off and have a new beginning here with someone but we'll see let's take a look tell me about this wheel of fortune what's going on with this wheel of fortune here all right wheel of fortune and a ton of cups what's going on with this four of swords and then the Empress. So we have true we have pairs here. We have the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, the Empress to the Emperor. So I feel like this feminine energy here, I feel like this person is disengaging from this. Because this just seems like with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups here, things are not really progressing here. Uh, it's more so stagnant with the hangman here. Yeah, a lot of stagnating energy with the Two of Swords, the Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Um, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Hierophant here. You have the Hierophant again, which is, you know, commitment here. Tell me about the Emperor. You have the Moon. Yeah, someone just has a lot of secrets. Uh, someone's just not really honest. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Wands. Going on with this uh, King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So we have pairs here. Yeah, we have the Empress, the Empress. We have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. And then we have this outside person, which is the Queen of Cups. Um, I don't know. I just feel like someone might be dipping out on someone here. You know, someone could have been caught here, but they're still not owning up to it. <laughs> you know, with the Page of Swords here, maybe someone was like, you know, doing some investigative work. Perhaps it's this, it's this feminine energy here and found out this masculine energy was fooling around with the Queen of Cups. And I feel like this feminine energy perhaps was, you know, confronted this masculine energy and I feel like this masculine energy is not fasting up to it 
I feel like this masculine energy also made a commitment to this Queen of Cups. But this Queen of Cups is aware of what's going on because this Queen of Cups knows that there's someone else involved. Yeah. Yeah, so some truth was revealed here and someone's not taking responsibility here. Someone's playing pretend. Um, Wheel of Fortune being clarified by the Ten of Cups. Four of Swords being clarified by the Empress. We have the Ace of Pentacles being clarified by the Hierophant. The Emperor being clarified by the Moon. Yeah, someone has a lot of secrets here. Yeah, even though a secret was revealed, someone was not being honest here. Uh, is not fasting up. Someone caught someone, I feel. Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Wands. So, Collective, this was your general reading. Uh, energy check-in for the uh, second half of your April from the 16th to the 30th. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.